Welcome back to Theme Park Worldwide, where it's time for episode 9 of Let's Play Planet Coaster, The London Resort. Now, as I've mentioned, we are getting close to the end of the series. I've built four themed areas now here in this park, and there's two remaining. One of them is set to be the smallest, and that is the Isles. And then we've also got one of the biggest, which is the studio. So, yes, I'm going to be working on those over the next couple of episodes. And, uh, yes, yeah, starting off uh, in this episode with kind of working on the infrastructure for the studio. Now, back in episode eight, I did put in all the pathways around here. I extended the waterway that runs up through the park into this section, created like another part of the lake. And yeah, just to get an idea on the scale of where these two areas are going to sit, because it is quite hard to get the scale right for this one. I keep kind of looking back at the official concept art. It's hard because you've got to think, I'm building a theme park, a recreation of a theme park, that doesn't actually exist yet and unfortunately um you know is very unlikely to exist especially with recent announcements this week uh, which i'll talk about in a few minutes time but yeah firstly i'm putting in uh, a couple of large show buildings here uh, now like i say you know we've got this studio themed area uh, there's going to be a lot of indoor kind of attractions or at least indoor space where attractions can go uh, in the future now uh, i'd imagine that with the london resort we wouldn't see kind of say it does go ahead some miracle happens i don't I don't think we'd see all of these buildings filled straight away with attractions what they may do and what a lot of parks do tend to actually do when they get built is kind of put in uh, the area itself and the buildings and leave expansion space for future attractions so yeah that's something that i'd expect them to do uh, so that is something that i am going to actually be doing as part of the studio area but yeah it's going to be a pretty big area this one uh, one of the biggest in the park actually so yeah we've got all these facades going up we're going to have like kind of uh, lots of different sets of course across here um, because yeah you know these are different buildings these are facades you know for like movie filming and all that kind of stuff and I love the kind of production aspect um, of movies and TV so yeah that's kind of what we're going for here all of these big facades and set design um, that's going to be actually covering show buildings that are home to restaurants attractions possibly you know even an indoor roller coaster you know all them kind of things that could be here uh, because obviously we look on the official um, concept rendering for the London Resort we can't see many rides off on this right side of the park you know and obviously that is just a, a kind of a brief concept it's not a detailed plan but yeah we can't really see any rides everything's pretty much indoors possibly a couple of bits over in the aisles but uh, not really for the studio it's just a, a big load of buildings loads of warehouses and facades so yeah kind of using my imagination a bit with this one as to what th would be inside them uh, but like I say I'm not going to be filling all of the buildings up I'm going to be leaving some space for expansion and maybe if you download the park in the steam workshop in a couple of weeks time at the end of the series uh, then yeah you're going to be able to uh, you know actually put your own creations in there and, and utilize the space so yeah that's what i'm working on just here now i mentioned a few minutes ago that there's been some news from the london resort uh, this week and it's some pretty sad news because uh, it seems like the jumping spider that I joked about earlier in the series is back. Basically uh, many years ago the project was put on halt because of uh, kind of environmental reasons about a jumping spider that was found on the site. Uh, it seemed like a bit of an excuse to be honest at the time but that's doing the rounds again. Now obviously we know that the London Resort asked for an extension um, to their kind of plan application for later this year. However, they've been made to fully submit it this month, March. So we're going to find out soon, really, what is actually going on. It could be the end of the project or it could be the, the, the start of this actually getting built. I think, you know, it's more likely to, to not be built. Um, you know, there's been a lot of people now. The environmental concerns are kind of um, growing, should we say, about the site, which it is a shame because the way I see it is that piece of land pretty much i've been there i've walked around it i've seen where they want to build this theme park and yeah it, it's a mess like it, it's an absolute mess and no one's really cared about it for all these years and the london resort have come along wanting obviously originally paramount wanting to do something with the site and in kent and, and then yeah everyone's kind of saying they don't want it or you know it's, it's an area of natural beauty i've been there and walked around and i wouldn't necessarily call it a beautiful area myself um you know and you've got to think the london resort it wasn't just going to be the park it was going to be um, nature areas and really good for the environment as well and hence why with me designing this park in planet coaster i've kind of put a lot of green spaces in and green areas now that isn't the only news that's come out this week this actually involves the studio area that i'm working on here the bbc 
and also ITV have, have pulled out of the project. They're not being involved in the London Resort anymore. And that's kind of come off the back of the environmental kind of concerns, I think. They're kind of wanting to stay away from that because it's a big thing these days and I can understand that. So yeah, the studio area, who knows what kind of things were going here. And originally I was looking at possibly theming a couple of rides to BBC and ITV shows. I was gonna do maybe like a Doctor Who co indoor coaster and that sort of thing. Now, we know that that isn't the case because they're not gonna be using BBC and ITV. So yeah, you know, it, it's left me with a bit of a dilemma really for the studio area. As soon as I've come round to it now to build it, this news has come out about BBC and ITV. So yeah, let's, uh, well, I'll talk more about kind of my plans for the studio as I'm doing it um, in episode 10. Now, as you can see, I've just uh, done all the facades there around the studio facades, just them first ones. Obviously there's gonna be a lot more like that. Um, just the first ones and uh, yeah put in this big galleon ship and just working on like a little dock area now and some nice trees put another island in there really starting to separate the two areas now um, because that's all i'm doing for the studio in this episode and um, it's mostly working on the isles themed area and so uh, yeah that is exactly what i'm doing just here um so yeah we've separated the areas now we've put the buildings in We've got the galleon ship just there. And yeah, that's kind of going to be the transition between the studio and the aisle um, areas that we're uh, going into here. So yeah, we've got some nice netted fencing going in. A lot of the time, obviously you can click it and then kind of move it across and in the same place. But I find it easier um, actually putting fencing in, just doing it for kind of freehand, would you call it every time, you know, just putting it in like that. I find that much easier when you're doing fencing, you know, just to, yes, I know sometimes it might not be on the right level, and you, but you can easily adjust that. I find it easier than just kind of dragging it across um, and doing it that way. So yeah, we've got some little boats going on here, um, there's a skeleton just up there, you know, just lots of random bits of theming around really, because the aisle, it's kind of hard to see what this is from their plans. It looks like some kind of fantasy area, um, a cross between like pirates and princesses really that kind of thing but then we've got the kingdom so the idea is with the isle is that it's just going to kind of um build you up really through to the kingdom area it's going to be a very small area but it is going to have a few different flat rides as you will see in a moment again look at the concept art you can hardly see any rides on this whole right hand side of the park so i am just having to kind of look at it and use my inspiration i've tried to do the best kind of layout that resembles the concepts but obviously it is a theme park you know we need some rides down here it just looks like an area with trees and open space on the on the concept but we do know there is rides here so uh, obviously like i mentioned before it looks like the woods themed area has been dropped in favor um, of the dinosaur theme land you know base camp that we did a few episodes back um, officially that's why i've not built the woods However, I thought let's combine a bit of what the woods was about, a bit of fantasy, into the Isles uh, area just here as well. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the plan. I don't know why I've spelt the, the sign like that. I've only just realised I need to put an S on the end of that one. Um, but yeah, that's the thing. You know, any spelling mistakes and stuff, that can all be done before the end of the, uh, the series. It was more just getting the signs in place. You know, a, I always do this in my parks. It's not about what's on the signs initially. It's just getting the signs in place and then we can uh, kind of work on that. So yeah, just working on the uh, kind of infrastructure for the Isles now. We've got this nice entrance portal going in. Doesn't that look a bit like the Lego Mythica entrance portal at Legoland Windsor? Uh, it does remind me of that quite a bit. Um, so yeah, we're just putting some random theming in. We've got a nice set uh, pirate band. So I wouldn't necessarily say it's a direct pirate themed area, this. However, it's going to have a lot of pirate theming around. It's like a fantasy area. And then obviously you're going to be able to walk off to the left and that leads up into kind of the, the kingdom, you know, the first area that I built up there with the RMC and just that general area. This is the transitional area now where you're going to come from the studio underneath that little archway and then into the aisle themed area. And obviously all that area to that side is going to be part of the studio, which like I say, was going to be uh, BBC and ITV themed. But as of the news this week, that wouldn't be very accurate at all, would it? And obviously I'm trying to make it kind of, you know, as accurate as I can, but putting in my own ideas too. So yeah, I'm really not too sure now. You know, obviously in the game, there is Ghostbusters theming and there also is Back to the Future theming. So I could maybe do that, but I have already built a Back to the Future attraction before. However, I could maybe do that. 
I'm not really not too sure now what to do with the studios and it's a big area to kind of cover so I don't know I'm not gonna fill loads of the buildings around there because you know we, we just don't know and like I say I think with this park if it does get built we won't see all of them buildings going straight away anyway right we've got some flat rides gone in there so we've got a pirate ship we've got a teacups and a nice big carousel there uh, there is a large building on the concepts and you can't really tell what's inside it possibly a flying theater looking at the size of the building but obviously there's nothing like that in the game so i'm just going for an indoor carousel and we're going to put a little food court in there as well obviously it does look like it could potentially be a flying theater from the size of the building but it's just so hard to tell the details are very loose very sketchy you know we can't really see loads so i thought we'll put the building in and we'll put a carousel um, inside there because I think that would be a, a real nice kind of indoor space. You know, I've always said this, but this park, you know, it would have a lot of indoor areas, a lot of covered over queue lines, that sort of thing. And I've tried to reflect that um, in, into the actual park design, what I've done here as well. So, yeah, we've got the carousel inside, a few food outlets going in there and some toilet facilities um, as well, just for uh, guests, of course, to use all under cover in there. Got some uh, little buildings just going in, cover that up, put some windows on the inside and just some loose theming in there as well. And I just want to kind of reiterate this, you know, th this part that I've built, yes, you know, I am following the official concepts, but I have been putting my own kind of input in as well. It doesn't necessarily mean that this is the kind of layout part that I would do. What, what we've, I've done here is a very different layout park to anything I've built. And would I build a park with this layout? I wouldn't know because I think the layout is actually quite complicated looking at some of the pathways and stuff um, just for like kind of guest flow. But again, I've wanted to make it as realistic as I can do. Um, so yeah, I've gone with that. But you know, my opinion, the, the layout of, of this isn't the best, you know. Um, and obviously it's different when I'm building my own creations because you know, I build the layout that I want to do and what I think works based on my experience visiting theme parks. Um, and, and this isn't that. So it does make me think, you know, if this park does get built and the layout does look similar to that concept art and obviously want to face this park off, it's going to be a little bit complicated to kind of access some of the areas, uh, especially the kingdom. Like, it just looks really weird how you get to it. And, you know, maybe I've even put in more pathways here as to what there would be in, in the real park, you know. But something I have put a big emphasis on is that kind of nature aspect and lots of green space that you can see in the plan that they wanted to do that. You know, that's part of sweet talking them to get the permission you know, at the end of the day, uh, but also creating a nice nature area as well, which is really important. Um, you know, to make it kind of um, a, a nature friendly site, so to speak. Um, but yeah, in my opinion, it would certainly improve the Swanscombe Peninsula. I think it would be brilliant. Um, but we are a theme park channel. I'm not going to be against a new theme park opening. Um, but let's just say there is quite a lot of people that are. So yeah, we'll uh, kind of leave that one there. But let's just see what happens. I do think it's looking unlikely now, especially with the news this week. There's been two lots of news, you know, with the jumping spiders making a return. That was in the media. Uh, say making a return. I don't think they've jumped off anywhere, but, um, you know, I don't think they've gone into the Thames or anything. Um, but yeah, that's, you know, kind of like an excuse story, isn't it, coming back in. And then BBC and ITV dropping out. It's not looking good, like, you know. So I feel like I've done this series at the perfect time, to be honest, because in the next couple of weeks, we're going to find out more news, hopefully, about whether it is actually going to go forward or could it be dead in the water? Could it be the end for this one? So let's just... Uh, yeah, let's just see what happens with that one. Uh, but yeah, obviously we've got the teacups here as well. So like I said, it's not a pirate themed area directly. It's a bit of fantasy, a bit of everything really. So yeah, this is kind of like a, a princessy kind of theme ride that I want to go for. We've got the nice little band out the front there as well. I'm just looking at different topiaries now to put around here. Nice word that, isn't it? Topiaries, uh, putting them in. Put the heart ones there. Didn't like them, so took them out. You often see that with me. I put something in and think, nah, I'm not too keen. Let's change it. But that's how I like to get the park right and, and perfect the design and the aesthetic of it all. Because for me, I, that's why I zoom out a lot. You know, I love looking at the overall aesthetic of it and how it looks. You know, that's a big part of it for me. So, yeah, the aisle area is coming together nice. It's only a small one, but it has got three rides packed in there, which is nice. Um, with some, the big pirate galleon that I put in, not the pirate ship, but actually the uh, the galleon, you know, the static theming, not the, the ride itself. That would probably have a pirate show on looking at it. It looks huge. Uh, I think that would definitely have a, a, a pirate show on kind of down on that lake just there. 
um, it's like the perfect spot for it to be honest so yeah I could certainly see that and you can see a big pirate galleon in the concepts hence why we've put it in just there um, because I thought that looked really well just uh, adding in some more landscaping around the top now obviously I like building the berm as I call it you know which is the big hill um like obviously a disney term that is building this big kind of berm around the parks uh they love doing it i love doing it it just separates the areas and really makes it nice and clear uh, really what's what but yeah the aisle nearly done like looking really good around there obviously just finishing off the landscaping got a few uh more lights and stuff to add around the benches and the bins kind of add them around these are nice aren't they these big lanterns that kind of go over the pathway so i thought yeah we'll uh, definitely add a few of those going around uh, and yeah, just kind of get the general uh, the general kind of gist of it. But hey, it's looking good. I'm really pleased with it. Just a nice little area. And we can carry on now doing a bit more infrastructure. So as you can see here, we've got all of these trees going in. This is like a big open space where I personally think there would be a nighttime show on the castle that's up on the hill there that I built back in episode one. Um, so yeah, you know, this is kind of like a viewing area for that. But also going back to the nature aspect of it all this i would expect to be kind of you know a nice nature area you know all the, the wildlife that can be in these trees and that'd be a thing that i would definitely do if i had a theme park i'd have lots of trees lots of you know areas for wildlife to kind of be you know a theme park isn't about a big kind of tarmac area with loads of rides on it's about immersive experiences and immersive theming and landscaping trees rocks planting is a huge part of it imagine alton towers if it didn't have all the trees and the location you know it wouldn't be anywhere near as special uh, if you were driving to it and you could see the rides you know that's what makes alton towers so that's you know a really important part of the parks in my opinion but uh, there we go that brings us to the end of the episode here's a little look at the aisle just there the area that i've put together the grand galleon yeah it's all looking really good and i'm pleased with how it's come together stay tuned for episode 10 where i'm going to be working on the studio themed area the final part of the park and uh, yes we're going to work with it and see what i can do yes my plans have changed with the news this week but let's see what happens in episode 10 that leaves me with one final thing to say get out there and keep on riding see you on saturday